Hello everyone and welcome to Sweet Stitches Quilt Shop. I'm Joan and today is First Friday Demonstration Day here at the shop. And today's theme is settling in because we have been settling into our new location and part of that is getting the classroom ready and my sewing area all ready. So now I can get back to creating things for First Friday demonstrations and for classes and for samples here in the shop. And so one of the samples that I'm working on for the shop today is um, the gateway pattern and it is by Everyday Stitches. It's a fun modern design and I can show you what one of the blocks looks like. This is the block and it's curved piecing and it's not that hard at all. Um, I tend to like curved piecing and I love these bright colors that these batik fabrics um, by Marcia Dursey has um, created. They make for a fun quilt block. So when you take two of these, you're creating an arch and then the outside of the arch. And you take two of them and you put them together like this and you're just putting lots of different fun colors and patterns together in the quilt block. And so the pattern also comes with um, templates for cutting out the two pieces. So you have a shape, you have the arch shape, and then you also have the two background shapes that will go around the arch. And so you'll cut mirror images of those, so you have one for the right and one for the left of the arch. And so you will create the quilt block and then you'll put two of them together and then you'll put a bunch of these blocks together um, to create um, the gateway quilt. And this is by Everyday Stitches, Patterns for Everyday Life. So since we're here, why don't I show you the rest of the classroom and then we'll head over to the cutting table so you can see the rest of the projects I've made for this month. Okay, so here we are in, the in our brand new classroom here at the shop. Uh, we have 12 tables set up. Right now we're only going to be teaching six at a time so that we can still safely social distance. Um, towards the back is um, a pressing area and of course we always have pressing areas near um, your sewing stations. We've got a cutting table area. If we need more cutting tables we have plenty of them to bring out um, for however large the class size is. Over um, the classroom does have uh, its own bathroom and a kitchenette for your use while you're here um, sewing for the day. And again, there's my sewing station um, all set up for me to sit and sew right in front of the window so I can see everybody come in through the front door. I thought we'd start off with a few of the classes we have coming up in case you wanted to sign up for those while well, it's still early in November, and get these quilts done before Christmas. First up, we have a Shimmering Silver Snowflake, and this quilt was designed by Darla here at the shop. It has a Northcott snowflake panel in the middle, so this whole thing is a, snow, is a panel, and then um, around the outer edges, our Robert Kaufman's uh, batik line for winter. It has snowflakes all over it, and it also has metallic, so it's a metallic batik, which is really kind of cool, and adds a lot of um, shimmer to the quilt. So this is, a, again, this is called um, Shimmering Silver Snowflake, and this is a class that Darla's putting together. It is, you don't have to do AccuQuilt to take the class. Um, it, it's done rotary cutter style, so. Um, Check this one out on our class calendar. So another class that we had recently here in the shop was put on by Diane Knoll. And Diane is very much into wool. And so we're starting to carry a little bit more wool here in the shop and hopefully more as time goes on because it is a really neat texture and great colors to work with. And of course, I love applique, so it's right down my alley too. The quilt that they made in class was called Nine Little Snowmen. It has uh, nine little snowmen um, all doing different activities during the winter here. They have cute little scarves and hats on that are made out of the wool and their little faces are made out of wool. Um, we had six kits for the class 
but only five people took the class. So I do have one kit left over. So if you're interested in it, uh, give me a call quickly in the morning because uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that would want to do it too. So it's called Nine Little Snowmen and in the kit you get all the fabrics, the floss, the wool, everything in the kit um, to make up this cute little wall hanging. And while we're um, talking about classes, I just wanted to um, show you the Christmas tree quilt here on the wall. So I wanted to share with you um, one of our latest quilts that we just got back from the quilter, um, Judy Holden. She does a lot of our quilts here at the shop. And um, she did a beautiful job on it. She used metallic threads and it's hanging here in, near the cutting table, of course, so you can see it and check it out. Um, the pattern is called Gandy Gow which is a Scottish name, Christmas tree. Um, so it is um, a pattern with a template in the package. And it's very easy to put together. Um, they're half rectangles. Instead of half square triangles, you have half rectangles. So um, it is a class that I have here at the shop. So check it out on the November uh, class list. You can definitely get this one done in time for Christmas. Uh, very easy big pieces to put together. So again this is Gandy Gow. It's a Scottish um, themed Christmas tree quilt. So check this one out. So next up, uh, this is a class that I'm going to put on the calendar here very soon. Um, it's a cute little snowman wall hanging and it's called Things Are Looking Up and that's why he's looking up in the sky waiting for the first snowflake to fall. Um, it's, a, it's a very easy applique. I did it by machine applique uh, and it has uh, different uh, designs that you can use. This is the largest snowman and they also have a smaller version of him that you can use for a table runner or for a little wall hanging with nine little snowmen in it. Or you can use the little appliques to put on uh, tea towels. And so here I have the smaller version of the snowman, so you can see just how tiny he is. Or you could put a snowflake on the tea towel too. It's a cute little um, pattern, bright and colorful, and this one could stay up all winter long. This is Things Are Looking Up, and so you can look for that on the class calendar. I recently put together this bag um, it is called the Sew so Square Bag, and it's by Sew so Demented. Um, that's the people's name who designed it. I, I'm not just calling them that. Um, this is made out of the fabric line called Weather Report. It's by Robert Kaufman. They have great texture and colors to them. Um, there's a blue-green colorway, and there's also a burgundy peach kind of colorway too. Um, they're both really pretty. And um, the bag was very simple to put together. I used fusible fleece in mine, and I have to say that some sections were a little thick to get through on the machine. So you could just make it out of a nice lightweight um, interfacing. And it wouldn't have quite this much body to it, um, but it would um, be a great bag for just like carrying you know, your everyday stuff around in. So it has a pocket inside for your cell phone or your wallet, whichever one you want to. And it's quite large inside too. And it's got this great um, angular kind of look to it. And it fits on the arm really nice too. So it's a great bag to try out. I think I'm going to be putting this one on the calendar too. So if you're interested, let me know so I know whether or not maybe to give it a try on the calendar. It's a very easy bag to make. And I'm not a bag maker, but very fun to do. And this bag is called So Square by So Demented. Another bag that I'd like to make soon is the Classic Market Tote. And this is by Andre Design. It has um, a lot of great pockets in it and it is a tote bag so it doesn't have any zippers or anything like that. But a great market tote. Something to take and put all your goodies in. I want to do it in this new fabric line that just came in today. The line is called Trees and it's by Free Spirit Fabrics. It's got a lot of great wild colors in it um, with all kinds of different leaf patterns and it also has the state um, tulip tree 
flower in it too for Indiana. There's cherry blossom trees. There's um, buckeyes in this one. Look how fun this print is. And such different colorway um, to work with. And this is another great one with the, the blue and the chartreuse green. Really fun fabric line and I think they'd make a really great market tote or any bag that you're thinking of making. Also great for quilts. There's no limit. So I wanted to share a couple of new AccuQuilt dies that have recently come in. The first one is the oven mitt. And you cut all of your fabrics and all of your insel bright and batting out of the same die. This would be a great one for hostess gifts when you visit um, family and friends during the holidays. Great hostess gifts. The next one is this cute little mitten die that you can use on uh, table runners, placemats. You can make a quilt with them. Um, we're going to make an ornament out of them in the next Go Play Day with Darla. So we're going to actually let you use our die here at the shop and you can cut out um, a pair of mittens to um, create a cute little um, ornament for the tree or you can use it as a gift tag on a present, however you want to use it. But we'll have um, lots of uh, flannels and all the different interfacings that you might need in little kits. And they'll be very inexpensive, so if you want to purchase one, you're more than welcome. Or you can bring some of your own fabrics that you'd want to uh, cut a pair of mittens out of. So that's Go Play Day for this month here at the shop. And we have that uh, Go Play Day is now um, spaced um, 1030 to 1230 or 2 to 4 on Go Play Day, which is always the third Thursday of the month. So check that out on the calendar. Darla would love to have you in class. So my most recent project that I started here at the shop is called um, Jungle Buddies. And it's by um, one of my favorite applique designers, Jennifer Jangles. You've seen me do her farm animals, the sea turtles. Um, I love her big bold designs. They're very easy to applique around and they're just fun to look at. And so they make really great um, gifts for the kids out there or that new grandbaby that's coming. Um, so let me show you a couple of them. I started with this one first. This is the little elephant. How cute is that? Now when I chose my background fabric the grays were kind of blending in a little bit so what I did is I made my uh, thread color a slightly darker shade of gray to kind of outline the elephant. And of course whenever I do applique I always make sure that I have a stabilizer. We, I like to use Stiffy stabilizer um, on the back when I do my blanket stitch on the machine. Uh, it just makes your stitches lay perfect and um, your little applique blocks come out just right. So that's the little elephant. Then there's a little zebra. And all of these are made out of batik fabric, which is a lot of fun to try and pick out all the different batiks that would look right for these little baby animals. We have the little lion. We have a cute little tiger. It's more like a kitty cat tiger, but he's cute. And uh, it was a lot of fun uh, finding this fabric to do the um, tiger skin out of. So um, that's a fun one there. We have the monkeys which in the quilt they hang upside down, of course, by their tails. So we already have the jungle leaves on uh, with him. And then we have, of course, the cute giraffe. Great fun, yellow, bright colors. And uh, when I put all these different um, blocks together, in between them there'll be this green sashing that'll go in between, and these are the jungle vines. And then there's lots and lots of different uh, jungle leaves that go in between there on the, the vines and in between the animals. So it's, it's a lot of fun. The designs are super cute. And the pattern is called Jungle Buddies and it is by Jennifer Jangles. Lots of fun to do. Well, I just wanna say um, thank you for joining me today and we hope to see you in the new shop. If you haven't been here yet, 
um, we have moved just 90 feet to the north of um, where we were before. So we are at 1575 South Calumet Road here in Chesterton, Indiana. So uh, we look forward to seeing you and you all have a great day today. Bye-bye.